you guys can see, we got our inside Luan piece up. We're using the existing one. The existing one does not match the hole perfectly. It looks like I'm about an inch to an inch and a quarter off. I really hope that. <laughs> Welcome back guys today i finally remembered to get my lapel mic so so i got a little carried away this morning i started working and forgot to start videotaping i have a new piece of lou on as you saw just before this where it was all open this piece i'm actually gonna uh i'm gonna spare it because this is dry and it's not that bad it had been replaced previously so we've got a new piece here um and i had to cut out a small section here for all these lines that ran through luckily it's close to the end so I just ran a small uh, jigsaw path right here you won't be able to see that from the other side because there's a shelf there and then I uh, used some adhesive sealant on the uh, shelves there's some shelves on the inside that you saw um, and instead of screwing them back into the wall this way because the way RV cabinets apparently are made or they screw them in and then they put a piece of uh, fake wood on top and bottom to cover up your screws on your shelf. And I didn't want to take all that off. So I just used some um, two inch um, nails with my nail gun and uh, adhesive sealant those and that holds it up really well. It goes all the way to the top of the ceiling inside, all the way down to the carpet, nice snug fit. So now what we got to do is cut holes for our uh, 110 outlets because there's a desk here one of them went here that way you could plug in a monitor or a computer or whatever one of them went up here which is a small shelf um, opening probably for a VCR or a DVD player back in the day <laughs> like that they're installed all right Set it up on the bumper. Okay, hold on.
Oh, did it? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You just said, I thought you meant the air came through. Did it hurt? Oh, it's right there. Jeez. Sorry. Stand over there. You guys can see we got our inside Luan piece up. We're using the existing one. The existing one does not match the hole perfectly. It looks like I'm about an inch to an inch and a quarter off. I really hope that's not right. Anyway, framing is something we can redo a little bit if we need to and, uh, and fix it. Um, but right now we have the frame in place, it's attached up top, um, reinforced at the bottom down here. All I did was measure basically to the bottom of this plastic right here. The plastic seemed to crease right here. So I just measured from the top down, which was 96 inches. So, if we have to put more, if we have to put more reinforcement down there, we'll do it. But as of right now, it's coming along. We got to get insulation. We got to make sure the window and everything lines up, and, uh, and we'll be good to go. All right. Welcome to day three of rebuilding the back of my Forest River Sandpiper fifth wheel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some reinforcement on this, just some uh, extra precaution. Uh, what we're going to do down here is when I originally measured this, I measured to where this plastic actually um, turned under, which seemed to be this, this height all the way up which is 96 inches a full length of one of these two by twos so i'm going to leave that where it's at and wrap the plastic when i when the time comes but what i'm going to do i've screwed each of these two by twos that come down to the two by four that they have underneath the back of this fifth wheel but what i want to do is do a little bit of reinforcement and i don't want this to be open necessarily to the plastic so we're going to cut two by twos the width in between each of these and we're going to screw them into here that way it seals off the wall from any exterior um, rodents or anything else i want it blocked off from here not here because that's going to be open space of air coming in and all that and flowing in the carpet right here in the back so we're going to measure each one of these cut pieces put them in there uh, and then we're going to start reinforcing uh, up here on some of the frame that I had to cut and reinforce because I was off by about seven eighths of an inch on my window on top to bottom. So where I reinforced it all, I've got mending plates that we're going to put here, over there, um, and each of the corners. And then I've got a couple extra mending plates we're going to put probably at the top up there and anywhere else we may need it. All right, so what I'm doing here is actually cutting out the post for my compartment door that I decided to put in. I'm basically cutting it at the carpet height. That way when you open the door up, in case you have to get in, you can actually scoot uh, all the way in, even with just putting pressure on the frame. So I'm just cutting my distance up because I'm gonna be adding a double header up top. And then I'll be cutting it at the bottom where I'm gonna be putting a ledger across the bottom that also is at the level of the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all our pieces that are cut and put them in between here. Now because I probably should have got two by fours to fit the span of this and I didn't um, but what we're going to do is if you haven't got one of these I recommend them big time. Craig Jig. What we're going to do is we're going to Craig jig all these screws so that whenever, whenever we decide to go ahead and screw them in, they're going to go into the post here and we're not going to worry 
about um, about screwing them into this since it's only an inch and a half and it's uh, it's hard pressed to, to hit that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do one screw per end because these are only one and a half inches. All right, so we've got our Craig jig pieces. What I'm building right here, what I'm actually building right here is a compartment door frame that I've ordered. So I had no access to the back of this and because when all the slides are in, um, you have no access to the bunkhouse because of the way the door swings and the dinette set. So what we're going to do is I'm building a frame because I've already ordered my compartment door. It's 24 inches wide by 18 inches tall. Um, and it's just big enough we can put um, the boys' clothes, bags, whatever in there. And it's even big enough we can crawl in if we need to get something, move something, uh, repair something, whatever. We can get in this door and have access to the back of it. $120 for the compartment door. It's a small price to pay to have access. So I don't have to move this thing somewhere to pull the slide out. Um, because I don't have enough room with the wall over here behind the RV. So we're going to do the pocket screws for the rest of these pieces along with the rest of the frame, which is only going to be uh, basically a couple more pieces for the frame, and that'll be it. So let's get on this. Your Craig jig screws stay special for this are actually very nice screws and they have a square bit. They don't even give you an option for a Phillips head, which I love the square bit. It seems to stay set so much better. It's easier to grab. So we'll bring it in this way a little bit, Preston. What we're gonna do is position these pieces of wood at the bottom of the Luan, where the carpet is. I trimmed back some of this carpet just so this could sit a, a little bit more flush. What we're gonna do is position this where it actually is gonna hold the Luan versus being pushed out. So we're just putting it over by about an eighth of an inch or so. And I was a little worried about hitting any of this wood trying to drill them this way. So what we're gonna do, we're putting them just at the edge, maybe an eighth of an inch or so just enough and it just pulls it right in and that sucker is not going anywhere the Luan has something to sit against so we're secure we have no access from under here to get in here because we're sealing this off in the wall to do we need to make sure this is level for our door I had to cut another inch and a half off because I measured wrong because I wanted it at the level of the carpet, which is where this will be. So I can basically cut my 18 by 24. That's hopefully going to slide right in. It has a, like a two inch lip, so it should go right over the edge of this carpet. And I can cut it up my 18 inch. I'll just have to add an extra board up here. So I'll have double, basically a double header up here. And then I'll just reinforce the sides if I need to, um, and the bottom down here if I need to, but there shouldn't be a lot of stress. And these Craig jig screws with the pockets are solid. I mean, this, you probably can't even see, I'm shaking the whole fifth wheel um, just based on this, which is just attached everywhere. So let's get these other pieces in, and then we'll cut the rest of our frame right here. Nine 
roughly 29 and an eighth. Yeah, we're gonna cut two pieces that are 29 and an eighth inches wide. And after you stack those two pieces, we should get 18 inch opening or just a hair over. And we should get, um, uh, we're gonna make this, uh, it's gonna be 24 inches wide. So we're gonna put a bracket here for the other part of the frame. We're gonna be doing some, uh, I got some small metal brackets with teeth on both sides. We're gonna be stuffing all these wires in here and making sure all that gets closed up. Uh, and then for the most part, we're gonna be ready for the insulation foam all over. All right, perfect. You want that, <coughs> excuse me, you want this nice and snug. So that one's good. Let's make sure this one, oh yeah, that one's good. Slides right in. So we're, let's, we're gonna do some uh, pockets for this one as well from the Craig jig so we can attach that. After we put this second board on, we should have right at um, a little over 18 inches, which right now means we should have about 19 and a half. Yeah, we got about 19 and 5 eighths. And about 19 and 5 eighths, so we are on par, it looks like, for our frame. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to butt this one right up under it, which is actually going to give us our 18 inch. Um, if you remember, I had it cut too high on this piece down here. It was level with the carpet when I actually wanted the frame of the compartment level with the uh, level with this. So I had to cut an extra inch off after I'd already measured. So I'm just making an extra ledger basically for... Um, to take up the difference is all I'm doing. All right, so we've got this. This should be a little over 18. And just a tad over 18 there. If we have to make any minor adjustments when the compartment door comes in, I'll just get my belt sander and sand underneath here if we have to take a little bit more off, or down here for that matter. Um, I don't want to go really any lower than this because it's already at the level of the uh, carpet. So we can just take the belt sander across there and it'll uh, take any difference up. The reason I'm putting it right here is because there's a desk right behind this wall. The desk comes out, um, I think it was around 18 inches from the wall. And since I already had this board here, I didn't want to build a whole bunch up to pull it out. So basically, this is going to start at 17 and a 17 and an eighth, which means it's going to be basically under that desk by just uh, by just like an inch um, as far as where that closet is. So when you flip this up out here, if I have to go in, I'll still have plenty of room to go in. So um, that's where we're gonna have it. It's gonna offset from the window. The window's already offset, so not a big deal. The desk top is right here um, up under this receptacle. So we've got a good probably 11, 10 to 11 inches. Uh, if we lift this up and crawl under right here is, uh, right there is about the, 
the end of the uh, the desk right there. So let's get this other piece put in. Before we go all the way with that, we're gonna make sure we're at just a little over 24 and an eighth by 24 and an eighth. So we're good there. All right. It's nice and sturdy. Now, we're gonna get a piece here and probably a piece here just for safety precautions. This is still supported right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a screw down in that probably. And that way this piece is actually secured to this one. All right, so what I've done is basically put little supports under here so if this ever decides it wants to snag or sag it's gonna have a little bit it shouldn't sag a whole lot I should have made them a little bit tighter but that's all right we've got pretty much we've got our compartment door framing our door is or our window is we're gonna need to cut that out everything here is attached together nice and strong so what we do now Take that ceiling off. I think I'm going to attach one piece right here on this. Something for the Luan to attach to inside and also to give a little extra support on pulling up on this. Maybe overkill, but I don't want to have to pull everything back off again to do that. So I want it a little bit snug. Hopefully this will go in since I have down here I have Craig Jig screws that go this way and I'm hammered so I'm hoping this does not interfere. Ah, oh, nice. Alright. Guess alright. Alright, so here is the framing for the back of the RV. We've got our compartment door framed up. We've actually got our ladder framed up there on the right side. In case we decide to put the ladder back up, we've got all our wiring in and we are ready for insulation, Luon, and then eventually the fiberglass. You guys stay tuned. Look for part three, which is gonna cover the insulation, the Luon, and then eventually the fiberglass. So look for that. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe guys and comment below what you guys enjoy about this series or what you can relate to what I've been putting up. We'll see you in the next part of the video. Have a great day. inside Luon piece up we're using the existing one the existing one does not match the hole perfectly it looks like I'm about an inch to an inch and a quarter off I really hope that's not right anyway framing is something we can redo a little bit if we need to and uh, and fix it um, but right now we have the frame in place it's attached up top um, reinforced at the bottom down here all I did was measure basically to the bottom of this plastic right here the plastic seemed to crease right here so I just measured from the top down which was 96 inches so if we have to put more 
we have to put more reinforcement down there, we'll do it. But as of right now, it's coming along. We gotta get insulation, we gotta make sure the window and everything lines up and, uh, and we'll be good to go.